Overnight Coder. Today we're going to talk about how to install WordPress theme automatically and then how to do it manually. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to install Flatsum, which is one of the most popular shops based WooCommerce themes that ThemeForest has to sell. Um, you can check more out on our website, Overnight Coder, which I'm going to put in the bottom link. Um, so, the first thing we're going to start off with is just our blank WordPress theme. We're going to access the admin of our theme. Now, if you haven't already seen, we actually uh, covered installing WordPress on the previous video. <clears throat> From here, to automatically install the theme, we're going to go to Appearance Themes, Add New, and then Upload Theme. We're assuming that you already have the files downloaded to your PC or your machine. In this case, I do. I'm going to find them here, install them here. And for the most part, a lot of themes will go through like this. There are some themes that are going to error like this. For some crazy reason, uh, a lot of these themes, especially when they're big and your server's not handling the upload correctly, uh, it's just impossible to upload them, uh, all of your themes automatically. So I'm going to try that one more time going over the same process. I clicked install now and I'm, I'm assuming that you guys have seen the screen before. So you know my server is just not going to handle this. Please try again. We already know that installing it is just not going to do it. I'm going to double check my appearance themes folder. I see that the theme did not install. So uh, that's normally how you would do it automatically. After you press that install button everything would be installed for you and then you'd be ready to start either building or load the demo content. Because that theme isn't working, we're going to go over the manual way. So here I am in the regular file manager, your C panel. Um, I'm looking for file manager. Once I click on file manager, it brings me to my basic collection of files. My public HTML folder houses all the content that you'd be seeing on the front end. This is the typical WordPress install with nothing in there. So this is what you'll see, your three main folders. I don't include CGI bin because that was already here, but I do WordPress admin content and WP includes. This is how I know, and then I see the WordPress main files. I know I'm in the WordPress main folder. From here, I would just go to WP content, then themes, and I'd upload the folder here, but as you can see, these aren't zip files. So I am gonna upload the folder. And for those that didn't really get to see, I, the upload button is here. So I pressed upload, it brought me to this screen, asked me to select my file, and it's complete, so I'm gonna go back. And now I have my zipped theme here, but remember I said they're not zipped, so I'm gonna go ahead and select it once, press extract. And this is using GoDaddy's file manager, or GoDaddy's cPanel. Um, some I've noticed don't have this extract button. In that situation, you'd actually have to use something and import each one of those files into the correct location, uh, just so all your files are still on the server. I'm going to reload this. I can now see my flat sum file here. I do not need this zip, so part of cleanup is let's get rid of that folder. And now I have the flat sum in with the rest of my themes, and that's it. So as I refresh this page, I now see I have the flat sum theme installed properly um, right where it should be. To activate that theme, I'll just click activate. It's got a setup wizard for now. I'm going to do the not right now. I'm gonna look at my website and just make sure I see the Flatnum. The Flatsum theme change is perfect. So that's it, that's installing a theme. I mean, it really isn't much, you know, just either installing it automatically, more important, installing it manually if you have an issue. And uh, that's it. 